the story I'm going with, even though I know it's not true. I just like to, whenever I see something good, I like to... Yeah, I think I genuinely believe that it always doesn't mean. <laughs> um, so let's keep going down the hill. Yes, yes we will. So we're on Coldwater Canyon, uh, ladies yep. and gentlemen. The light right. is green, light so is green. we are yes. allowed to... Luke proceed. is an anxious is an anxious passenger, but that's okay <laughs> because that was... An, uh, that anxiety was fair in that situation. You don't need to stop at a green light in Coldwater Canyon. There's no reason for that. I, my last girlfriend was passive, and so she would let me bully her, which is not a very attractive <laughs> part of myself. There are so many. That's what I would like bully her when she would drive. I'd say, stop, go left, go right, hurry right. up, pass right. this honk. <laughs> and we'd almost get into so many accidents because I'd just be bullying her, and right. she'd just be like absolutely shot. The nose would be shot, and her reactions oh, would get oh, all screwed oh, up. Oh, and I was just bully, bully, bully because I could. Right, right. And, and then now the problem is now I get into other people's cars and I've, I've gotten all these bullying habits ingrained in me from two years right, of, of, being, of bullying this like sweet little girl. Well, I will tell you that it's about your, you, you don't need to, you can feel free to do that with me just because I'm, I'm, I, I won't get rattled. I've, I've, right, I've, okay. I've, I've driven, I, yeah, I, and I know, no, driving is... I've always said, if you're going to have a physical fear, driving is a, is a, is a reasonable one to have, so, so uh, I don't hold it against you. My favorite type of woman, the woman, the women that I'm attracted to, <laughs> masculine women, not, the, not <laughs> ones with beards, I don't, I don't like beards, and I don't right. like an excess of muscles, but I like really responsible, take charge, right. accomplished, socially adjusted, like women who are different from me, right. like, cause, <laughs> like if they were like, um, tortured artist blogger types, um, I right. probably wouldn't go for them, but I like, you know, the socially adjusted, right. socially accomplished, like, hard, strong, tough women, but I've gotten into these bad bullying habits the past two years, so now it's, it's interesting, I start bullying these chicks who are like ten times as tough as I am, <laughs> and uh, I realize how absolutely futile it is, and how silly it is, but I, I keep finding myself trying it. Well, that's good, though. I mean, I think I think the going, being attracted to, that's the yin and the yang thing, you know? You're attracted to someone I think you can kind of learn from, in a yeah. way. And so, like, I think that's natural, and I think, like, that's cool. I mean, you know, <laughs> and, and and if that's who they are, they'll, 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 they'll tell you what's up. I mean, if they need you to yeah, stop, I think, yeah. they'll, you know, it's... So, so, so. They're just kind of amused. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, look, I'm certainly... I, I didn't understand it this way when I was younger, but I, I, I do think that in seeking out Kendra, and in, just in general with, with women, I, I, had, I had been... Yeah, you, you want someone who you can learn from, not just not in the way as like they explain shit to you, but in the way they live. Have you ever had friends or people in your life who so desperately wanted you in their life that they let you bully them maybe that hasn't been an issue for you but it has been for me like when people let me bully them I bully them and it's really unattractive and not Jewish and not nice but when I can get away with bullying I bully well again it's, it's very human I, I, but I think that here's my thing I, I, I am I have a a, a a programmed aversion to feeling I, I don't want to feel like a bully it makes me feel awful but that doesn't mean I don't bully. It just means that when I'm aware of it, um, mm -hmm. I try to stop. Oh, but I, I think absolutely. I, I told you I'd spoken to a woman who I was, or maybe I didn't tell you this, who I was with um, a good long time ago now when I was 19 and 20. And she told me she had been in therapy a lot since then. And one of the things she was dealing <laughs> with is why she was... I forget what, how she put it. It was fairly hard hitting. Something like why I was the type of person who would have been with you. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, really, really. But it was honest. I mean, yeah. she meant it. And, yeah. and I appreciated that. It was fascinating to hear. And it was because she experienced me as very controlling. Yeah. And, 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 and bullyish, I think. And, okay, well, that's not consistent with my self-image, but tough shit. That was her experience. So, you know, I'm just, it's, it's... Yeah. I remember in fifth grade, there was this somewhat chubby but decent looking chick who loved me, just had a crush on me, <laughs> and I kicked her at times, I literally kicked her yeah. till she cried, <laughs> and she said something about, you know, I love you, and you She said, what, after you kicked her? Yeah, yeah, she said, I love you, and you know, one day you'll find out what it's like 
that to love someone and have them kick you. <laughs> and <laughs> and I would tragic leave tragic little story. And I would leave tacks on her chair so that with the the oh my goodness the, the pointy end up. So I'd get left here. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, that was useful because I'm, I'm, I haven't been down here in a while. So. I would I would leave tacks on Unreal. her chair wow. so that she'd sit on them on her fat little tush, oh. <laughs> and she like she'd like tears would spring to her eyes, and I did all the I kicked her and left tacks on her desk because she liked me. Oh well, look, if that's women. I they they, <laughs> I, it's awful, but the number of women who. Actually, I shouldn't just say it about women. I think it's also true of me in some ways. Like, women, that's true of some guys. Like, w women want guys, you know, th the more the guys are, like, emotionally unavailable to them, right. the more desperately they want it. Right. I think I do have kind of a, I don't think I realized this before, but the women who I find most enchanting are often are kind of emotionally unavailable. <laughs> <laughs> so so I, I'm, I share the women's fault in that way. But, no, but, dude, that's, like, you can't, I mean... If that were me, like I would, I would say, oh, I w wish I hadn't done that. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I, I hope you, you don't beat yourself up over that, cause, no, because because that's so. That's, the memory just came rushing back right, right yeah. now in the car. It's like, but it's so, it's oof, so, it's so unattractive. Well, Luke, I don't know that I would call it unattractive. I, I, I would. It's attraction is messy. I, I would say that it's. It's a typical human thing. People take the liberties that they can. They yeah. they, they are sometimes revolted by yeah. people who, who, who nice give without without yeah. ever asking yeah. for anything. Yeah. Um, it's not the better angel, of, uh, a better angel of human nature, right. but I mean, it's very human, right. very human. You know. Um, so I mean, you know, I think my opinion is like you notice, you, you try to notice yourself doing stuff like that, and then you know if you can, if you. If you I remember in therapy, I, I would confess things like this to my therapist, and I'd start blushing, and I'd just be all wrecked and ashamed. I have real problems with shame. I get these right. huge shame attacks, and uh, and she'd say, "You are 11 years old." Yeah. <laughs> like well, when I left her, tax, yeah. when I left tax on that girl's desk, I was 10 years old. Yeah. And I kicked her. I was 10 years old. You were, I mean, you were Luke. You were eleven years old. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Well, right. I mean, she also like it's also okay to. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 uh, but I'm still like ashamed of these things that I right. I still carry it with me. Well, why? What that you, gets why, provoked. Well, why are you? Sh what do you think the? Um, because you're ashamed in the present about something that happened in the past. Like what? What do you? How does it feel like when you feel ashamed? I guess. Well, like I see Danielle Barron. Yeah. And I know I've written pretty cruelly about her at times. Right. And I feel ashamed, and I feel like the guy who put thumbtacks on someone's desk and kicked right, okay. another girl. It's like, or I think about how I bullied my girlfriend, you know, when right. she was driving, and and I think about my tendencies to bully. Right. And like I see people like, perhaps you could say I'm bullied them on my website and then I see them in person and I feel ashamed hmm. but on the other hand I don't re I don't regret anything I wrote I think it was true and accurate right okay. but it just Good. also has it also feels emotionally like bullying right okay so, yeah I mean that's a little bit like sometimes like picking on a defenseless kid right. like Daniel Barron's never gonna like be, be write anything vicious about you know anyone online she's just not well, she's also not helpless. I mean, she's. Right, we right, saw it right. today. This yeah. is a, a strong woman, a woman yeah. who knows how to look after her own interests. Yeah. I mean, one of the things I had to deal with, because I've grappled with sh shame. I don't think is 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 not one of my kind of primary emotional mm -hmm. responses, but but I've grappled with issues that are similar in some ways. And one of the things I had to deal with was that I had this inflated sense of my own kind of emotional power over other people. It was mm -hmm. really overdeveloped. Like, I, in retrospect, like, boy, how, how did it get that way? But I just felt like, God, it, it, there was a disrespect in it. I thought it was, because it's like, well, Joey, get over yourself, dude. Mm -hmm. They've got a whole universe and you're just, you're just a very tiny part of it. Like, what, what the fuck are you going to do? Like, you know, and that's not a, an excuse to, to be a jerk, but it is... I had to learn humility, actually, in a way, to get mm -hmm. over my own sense of screw my mm -hmm. my terror of hurting someone, kind of. Mm -hmm. If that makes any sense. Um, uh, there was this. There's this.